Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Snapcast Plays. Today we're joined by Jerry. Hey, what's up everyone? And Chris. And I'm Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, alright, yeah, you just did that. <laughs> and uh, Jerry, what are we doing today? Okay, so uh, yeah, we're playing, uh, we're doing uh, M19 Sealed. Oh, nice. Uh, I wanted to do the M19 Sealed League. Leah's here uh, watching, you know, learn, you know, she's going to learn a little bit about Sealed, how to build a deck out of six packs of cards. All right. Uh, it is my first one on uh, Moto, so let's get it started. Wait, what's Moto? Magic Online. Uh, what does Moto stand for? <laughs> so Magic. It was Magic. It's Magic the Gathering Online, MTGO, but for whatever reason, Moto just sounds better rolling off the tongue than MTGO. Magic Online Digital Objects. There we go. I remembered. Oh. Have, have you played this on paper, Jerry? Uh, no, I have not done this on paper. Uh, not yet. That's why I'm doing this, because I have to get in games for our paper. For the uh, GP in, a, uh, in Minneapolis. Wait, what? In a few weeks, I'll be heading to uh, Minneapolis with uh, Alex to jam a uh, sealed GP. So... Uh, here we are. We got this, Rob. Uh, yeah. Is there any way you can make the cards bigger? Mm, maybe. Maybe, maybe uh, pull down your main deck. Hold on. Pile view? No. No. So go to the center. Oh, I'm in the center. Nope. Go, go down. There you go. See if you can't make that window bigger. I mean, I make it bigger, but the cards don't. Uh, All right. That's fine. Me. Okay, so currently, let's see here. I'm even having a hard time seeing G's. Maybe the... Oh, wait, hold on. Ah! Ooh, that. I we, figured it out, Rob. We are learning, people. <laughs> right? All right, so... Let's see here. Can I sort by rarity? Sort by rarity, please. Thank you. We are heavy in the green rares. Got a... Uh, your favorite, your boy here, Rob Goreclaw. Uh, good old Goreclaw. You got the uh, six drop plus seven plus seven as well. And I believe that gives trample. Six drop seven seven. Boom. Oh, yeah, the six drop seven seven enchantment that just makes something obnoxiously huge. I'm not sold on this card, actually. I no. think it's a bit of a trap. Yes. Uh, Vivian's Invocation is another one of those trappy giant green cards that just doesn't do what I want it to do in limited. Okay. Uh, however, I do have this going on. Supreme Phantom Spirit, Remorseful Cleric Spirit. I have a Light Spirits build, maybe. Let's see here. In the Uncommon slot. Let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, that's my rares here. Let's go ahead and order by... Let's go by color. What are we loaded on? There we go. And then even put them in rarity order. Actually, CMC order. What's CMC? Uh, converted mana cost. Expensive cards up front, cheap cards in the back. Oh, okay. Uh, let's so, like, see here. Wall of Vines is free? No, Wall of Vines cost one. Oh. Speaking of which, do I have that control? I have three Avon Wind Mages. Uh, Avon Wind Mage is really powerful in the blue red spells uh, limited deck that I've been looking into. Okay. Uh, do I, I don't think I really have the spell payoff though. I have no, I have no real red payoff. I have no shock. I have no lightning strike. I can draw a bunch of cards. That's always nice. I definitely have. Well, that's actually pretty sweet. I have the weird sacrifice deck. Okay. If I really wanted to try that. And what is that? Uh, red black sacrifice is the archetype where you take cards like uh, Active Treason or the Goblin Instigator and cause triggered based effects off of things like this Blood Divination here. Okay. Or the big the big card you really want with that is the uh, the 4 mana 6-6 six, six Flying Demon that makes you sack a dude when you play it. <laughs> and like you have Reassembling Skeleton, another card you want to pay to that. So I have, all the, I have all the cards for it but none of the the payoff so to speak. I don't, I don't have any of the, the cards that win that matchup. Oh, that sucks. But it's still shiny. It is. I like that. Foil reassembling skeleton. I wonder so what that pretty. goes for. But uh, let's see here. I have three Avon Wind Mages, but none of the spell... I have none of the spell speed to make it happen. I have two Snapping Drakes. That's always fine. 
It just says flying. Yep. Uh, in limited, the cards get a little bit weaker in comparison to constructed, but these cards are very powerful at their cost for what we're trying to do. Because I don't get a deck full of rares. I have to play with the commons and uncommons. Uh, dang, this is a tough pile right here. I have all these mixed match weird things where I have a kind of a giant green thing, but the giant green things I want to pay off are just not good. I have this weird Avon Wind Mage Blue Red Spells thing with none of the red spells. I have all the black red sack outlet things, but none of the payoff for it. I haven't really dug into white yet. Let's see here. Dwarven Priest enters the battlefield. Gain one life for each creature you control. Four mana, two, four is okay. Uh, I do have Remorseful Cleric, which is a very powerful flying rare. Uh, two, one for two. Blows up Graves isn't relevant, but it is a two mana, two power flyer. And you can't overlook the fact that if you play that on turn two and you're on the play, you put them on a real clock. Uh, three one for two. Don't really care about that too much. Uh, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Do I have any real? Ooh. I have two Dwarven Priests and a Johnny's Pride Mate. Okay. And uh, what's a good interaction with those? Uh, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Dwarven Priest. Whenever Dwarven Priest enters the battlefield, gain one life for each creature you control. Okay. Ooh. You have three Dwarven Priest. I do have three dwarven priests. Ooh. That might be really Angel of the Dawn, that's shiny. Angel of the Dawn is a battlefield creatures you control, get plus one plus one and vigilance. That is a very powerful five drop. I was gonna say that looks really cool. Um Militia Bugler helps me find things. I think I'm in oh, white. Oh nice. Uh I think I'm definitely in white. Yep. Uh Luminous Bonds for removal. Let's see here. Oh, Take Vengeance, another removal spell. This seems like a nice nice set of white. Yep. All right. So we're going to start by building a white deck. Okay. You ready? All right. So here we go. Uh, we spoke about this earlier, about how the importance of enchantment and destruction actually is. I, I believe that this is also another card that definitely triggers... Uh, Invoke the Divine triggers your... Uh, uh, where is he at? A Johnny's Pride Mate, as well as destroys an enchantment. So that'll be fine. That'll be a fine start point. Uh, take Vengeance. We want to kill things. <laughs> yes. And Luminous Bonds continues at train by removing attackers or blockers. Um, Militia Bugler finds smaller dudes. Uh, Angel of the Dawn, definitely big hitter. If you, I feel like it's harder to find smaller people, though. Right. No, no, I mean, uh, the... Uh, the Militia Bugler can actually grab all three Dwarven Priests and the Ajani's Pride Mate. So it, it's going to... Already, with uh, four other hits in the deck out of a 40-card deck, when you open up with seven cards in your hand, oh. the hit rate is about 50% at that point, and that doesn't include all the other things I'm playing. Ooh. So since we're in white, i got to take my 2-1 Flyer for two. Uh, do I have any Knights? No, I don't have any knights. Aw. Can you play other colored cards with the white cards? Yes, I will. Uh, I will be definitely jamming some of the... Uh, I'm up in the air what I really want to actually play after the white cards. Well, what dual white lands do you have to support? Uh, let's see. I have a Forsaken Sanctuary. Tranquil I Expanse. Have a I, have a, I have a Manolith and a Tranquil Expanse. Okay. Uh, I also have Rupture Spire. Which is actually really unique looking now. <laughs> they changed the look of it entirely. It used to have that gold border. Now it's just colorless. Well, it is rupturing. Uh, let's see here. Created two two. Yeah, we want this guy. <laughs> so I'm loaded at the four mana spot. Um... Now is that an issue being heavy that deep, or no because it's sealed? No, because it's sealed. Uh, I think we're fine at the four drop spot and being that deep. The honest question is I think I'm blue white flyers. Okay. Uh, I, I'm like, I got double snapping Drake. Man, that puts me in a lot of four drops. I think we can back down a dwarven priest. Aww. 
Even Wind Mage, like, I don't have the spells to make it do its thing. But the Dwarven Priest won't take up too much room. It's a dwarf. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's got puns like me. Uh, do I have... Oh, uh, my Mirror Image. Uh, that's fine. Copying your own dudes in this format is actually relatively okay. Let me go ahead and shift those over. Mirror Image? Ooh. The copy Flyers. Uh, oops, drop my earphone real quick. My fault. Anyways. Yes, chocolate. Let's see here. Psst, triple Avon Wind Mage. Do you think it's worth it to play just a 2 2 flyer? Absolutely. You think it's just worth it? Just run a 2 2 flyer for three? Well, it also has prowess. But, but I don't have. I mean, the only spell I have that really triggers it is Mighty Leap and Take Vengeance. And Invoke the Divine. Invoke the Divine. It's currently in your main board right now. You have an instant destroy target artifact. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. I missed that. Yeah. So you got some spells to help it out. Uh, it I mean, rewards you for doing more. I mean. Evasion is always rewarded and limited. Evasion is rewarding. Well, if evasion's rewarding, I can at least play that in good conscience. <laughs> Maybe. It, it blocks really well. Aviation Pioneer. Hey, there we go. Uh, I think sleep is fine. Disper there we go. That's a spell we want. Disperse. All right. So we're at 18 right now in the main deck. What do you normally go for for spells to lands ratio limited? 23 to 17. 23 to 17. Yeah. Uh, is that regardless of if you're playing aggro or like controlly or anything like that? Or is that pretty much like the staple? 23 17. Yeah. Uh, it's, it depends. Like, if you go, if I were to go really heavy, like in a, when people tried to force dinosaurs in Ixalan Limited, 22-18 was not wrong. And then if you're like just extremely little kid red, like the red-blue spells deck in this format can be, it's not wrong to go 24-16. Okay. Uh, like, let's just go ahead and look, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and put two in because I don't know if I want them. The uncomfortable chill is actually a nice combat trick. Better yet, I'm going to shift combat tricks over. Uh, we are not going to play Essence Scatter. I don't think we are. I need to be... This is a very proactive deck is what I'm trying to make it be, if that makes any sense. Yes. So I really don't want Bone to Ash. I don't want Sift, Essence Scatter... World Sea Serpent is definitely a way to end a game of magic. It's like a corrosion. Do I have a millstone by off chance? Nope, I do not have a millstone. However, uh, Gearsmith Guardian, it's plus two zero as long as you control a blue creature. This deck is like a lot of blue creatures. Or it's enough to at least warrant a 3 5 for 5. And Explosive Apparatus is definitely going to be removal when I need it to be. So that puts me 23 cards right there. Let's see here. This is a start deck. I don't know if I'm 100% into this because I have all the time in the world to build this. Yeah. What is the normal time? What, 50 minutes? 50 minutes, yeah. You need a lot of time. Uh, let's see here. We went blue-white. That's a fun card. A suspicious bookcase. <laughs> Let's see here. 3-2 three, for 3 with Flash. Resembling Skeleton. Blood Divination. Lich's Caress. Infectious Horror. That's a really aggressive 4-drop. Rise from the Grave is fine. Fell Spectre is... And there's a Battlefield target opponent pitches a card. When they pitch a card, the player loses 2 life. So it's a... Like a 1-3 that shocks an opponent. Uh, this is not what you want to be playing. Macabre Waltz is card advantage. 
depending on if you have the red black payoff. Doom Dispenser is another card that gets rewarded when it dies. One one that turns into a two two. Vampire Neonate combos really nicely with a Johnny's Pride Mate. Uh, let's see here. Nightmare Thirst. Another card that combos with Pride Mate. Huh. Maybe I could be in Black White. This is super aggressive, though. Mm. What else would you have in Black to help out? I mean, you do have Duress, so you got early... Early hand disruption there. You're you're really not going to play duress okay. in the main. Uh, you're not going to do that. Like hired blade is a three two for three with flash. You could play it as a removal spell. Uh, let's see, a normal endurance uh, is a combat trick that's awesome in black. It's actually probably the best combat trick in the format because it's it's uh, one for one out of the spell because you get your creature back. Uh, you definitely always play Lich's Caress in black because it's removal. Hard, clean, hard and clean removal. Uh, the Blood Divination, the Reassembling Skeleton. Let's see here. The Nightmare's Thirst is fine. Neonate. Man, this card is only good if you have Pride Mate out. Otherwise, it's medium. So Not even medium. I don't even think it's good. I wouldn't play this. I only have one Ajani's Pride Mate. So would it be, not even what's up? Would it be worth going into black then at this point? Like at first it looked good, but now we're actually talking it through and realizing eh, it might not be the best. I mean, it's that's what it takes sometimes. Sometimes just purely just playing a bunch of blue flyers is good enough, which is definitely what I'm into right now. Uh, I believe I can reasonably splash black for this card as a as a one of type thing. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other spirits at all, do I? Mm, nope. No. I don't think I do. Serpent. Your thumb, another... You're thumping Sorry. something hard over there, man. Oh, that's my mouse. Sorry. Okay. That's me clicking the mouse. Oh, uh, horsefish. Oh, that's a good sideboard card. Uh, let's take a look at the green cards thoroughly just to make sure. I guess I could check the red ones too. Uh, that would be one of the cards you'd play in the blue red of uh, Bell's deck, but I don't have Shock Strike or Electris or uh, Electrify or whatever it's called. Okay. Like I don't have any of those cards, <laughs> so it's not like worth it. And then Active Treason obviously gets better in the uh, the black deck. Uh. I am, let's see, Druid of Horns. I mean, if I had more enchantments worth casting, whenever you cast an aura specifically, let's see here. That's an aura, so it does trigger off of it, but it triggers well after the turn you want to play it. Uh, what does Elvis Rejuvenator do? Enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards, and may put a land from among them onto the battlefield, rest on the bottom in any order. Meh. Uh, Sensor Courser is always good. 3-3 three, three for 3. Uh, Titanic Growth is 4-4 uh, four, four for 2, which is okay. Recollect. Uh, return target card from Grave to the your hand. And then Gore Claw. Like, obviously the card's great, but I have payoff. I just don't have the payoff for Gore Claw to work. Do you agree, Rob? Yeah, I don't. I don't see the large creature base that normally you would want to accompany Goreclaw with. I mean, mainly by large, it's not really CMC we're talking about. It's power. And I just, I don't see it. No, I don't see it either. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing it. Greenwood Sentinel, that's a nice bear. Better bear. 2-2 two -two Vigilance is great. I mean, it's fine. And then uh, another bear. Loaded with bears. Root Snare. Uh, hey, look, that's a fog. Mm, never liked Fogs Unlimited. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I think Blue White might be where you're at. 
I don't think I play a uh, Supreme Phantom though. I have no payoff for that. No. Like the only payoff I have is ironically the other rare one, but the other rare one being two power is actually relevant. Uh, what about a uh, Psychic Symbiont? Psychic Symbiont? Uh, I'm looking at it, and I want this in the deck. This card is extremely powerful. Like, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card, you draw a card, 3-3, three, three, flyer for 6. This is exactly what we want. Okay. So... I think... Hmm. This is tough. Ugh. It replaces itself. Disperse is fine. Destroy a dude is fine. Make sure Militia Bugler is what I want. Currently I'm separating all the cards Militia Bugler can grab, and currently it can get everything. Except the bombs. All right, so I mean, you, your curve's pretty good right here. Yeah, this is a good. I mean, the curve's great. Uh, let me go ahead and sort by mana cost. This is the curve you want. Like, this is a perfect curve, actually. Uh, and you're sitting, to... you're sitting right at twenty three. My concern Wait, is many... is the mana fixing to try to fit in this one black card going to be worth it. Oh, that's a sad thing. I don't think it is. The card's so good, though. Ugh. I mean, we can definitely, like... Cause it, I can... So you have Forsaken Sanctuary to help you out. You got Manalith to help you out. Yep. And um, you have Rupture Spire to help you out. So you got, you got the supporting cast to help you. But how much is that going to affect the rec rest of your deck building? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to hurt that bad, actually. Okay. I don't think it's going to be... It's. I got to pull... I got to find one card that I can move. One card needs to move to make Forsaken... Uh, uh, make Manalith playable. Because I really do want mana... Do I really want Manalith, though? Yeah, I do. I got a six drop. I, I want the Manalith. Like how I talk myself through that? Yeah. I think I'm gonna pull the mirror image. Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> uh, you know, we talked about it a lot. It's still important. I'm gonna move the aviation pioneer. Okay. I'm not playing a huge artifact synergy. And I do have five, six blue creatures to still get Gearsmith Guardian the fatty, the fatness it needs. So I think that's fine. Yep, all right. And put those into the deck. That gives me 15 lands. It suggests this. This is wrong. I already added an additional white source in Forsaken Sanctuary. So I'll drop a swamp and make it an island. Here it is. We will try this and see how wrong or how right I am, shall we? All right. I am going to get this list up on the side so everyone can see what we're playing here. Wait, so the whole deck is 40 cards? Yep, and a limited 40-card deck is what we want, 17 lands. So the games are a smidge bit quicker, or can be. Like, most games are decided rather quickly. Okay. All right, we ready to jam a game? Um, hang on one second. Hanging on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.
All right, I'm trying to see where I'm miss where I'm messed up here. Um, oh, I got the deck in order on screen by converted mana cost. Yeah, sadly, with that, with that nice curve. Sadly, mine is not. So instead, we'll just we'll print screen this. I'll work on this, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's get rolling. All right, deck is saved. All right, let's go ahead and play. Looking for a stage one opponent. I feel bad not playing Goreclaw. I looked at that and I kind of got excited. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to be in fat green things. I've got all these big green spells you just don't want to play in limited. And I will not be going first. Uh, yeah, this hand is keepable. We have a turn three snapping Drake or Militia Bugler. Yeah. Ooh. Yield through his turn. Nice. So we pretty much just did the hardest part when it comes to playing sealed, and that's building the actual deck. Yep. This is making sure you're playing what you feel is the best cards you can play. And um I feel like I'm playing the best cards that I can have. And a Wind Mage. All right. He missed the land drop. Oh, nice. Okie mm -hmm. dokie, then. What happened? Uh, he missed his second land drop. So do you How? take advantage of this by... Yep. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have to play the Rupture Spire. So I can get my mana fixed. And there's my Black Source. All right, let's see if he gets there. He did. He drew a second land. He plays a 2-1 lifelinker. Child of the Night. 2-1 lifelink. Well, I'm going to stonewall 2-1 lifelink with a bugler. And we're bugling. Nice. Now, do you have a target in mind? Uh, I do now. Uh, it's going to be a mirror image so I can do it again. Good thing you got the card. Right. Mirror image the copy bugler. We'll just uh, continue to move it. Move the chains. Continue putting more cards in hand. Cool. So let's see if he swings with the 2-1 child tonight. I mean, I'll happily block with bugler if I have to. Make, let's see, I don't even, do I even have to? No, I don't have to. I'll take two. Mm. And he had no play. Cool. Hmm. I'm going to drop a snapping Drake. I'm setting it up to where my mirror image can't fail. If that makes sense to you. Yes. Oh, I would hate to get two for one. Because this card has so much two for one potential on his side. So. You can go back to 18. Unless you have something. Okay, he's anticipating. He's probably looking for a land. Because he missed another one. I have not missed a land drop yet. You take two. And there we go. All right, so we got the deck list up on the side there. Nice. All right, so currently I'm ahead on the board, which is good. Bugler and Snapping Drake. He hit a second black source, so murder is alive. Murder being the black, black one common destroy target creature spell. Yeah, I'll throw a Bugler in front of it, see if he does something. Just trying to see what combat tricks he may have. Yeah, there it is. That's what I thought. He definitely had a combat trick for it. That okay. is fine. Cool. So. What was I that? Play... Abnormal Endurance? Yep, Abnormal Endurance gives it plus two zero when this creature dies. It comes back to the battlefield tapped. Oh, dang. So, 
Uh, here's my next line of play. I'm actually going to... Just because since Unsummon's not in the format, I can safely mirror image, and I'm going to take Vengeance. So I'm going to destroy target tapped creature. And I'm going to turn this mirror image into a snapping drake. Nice. I love mirror image. That's so cool. I know, right? It's one of the cool. I think uh, mirror, like besides the obvious of just like the, the the neat newness factor of how it can just copy anything, I think the card is actually possibly very strong and constructed. Yeah, I want one now. <laughs> I mean, we see what cards like uh, Phantasmal Image being played in humans. Yep. Okay, he played a one one dude. That blocks a turn. Red source. Ooh. What? Why? Great. Okay, so he's oh, on no. Grixis. He's got a possible shock in his hand. Okay. Um, you do have explosive apparatus you can use to take care of this sky scanner. I don't think I care about that. Okay. What's a shock. Shock is a red, uh, red, red one mana spell in the format that uh, deals two damage to any target. Oh. So let's see if he blocks here. To it shocks them. Yep. <laughs> Cool, he chose not to block. That's fine. Uh, fun fact, uh, we're going to drop a... Uh, not really fun, but we're going to drop Aven, Wind Mage, and hold up Disperse. I don't want to bounce Sky Scanner if I can avoid it. Yeah, there's no need to give him card advantage. Yeah, He's not in white, so I'm not going to get Cleansing Nova out of the game. Tormenting voice. He pitched Hired Blade. He can't block. Yeah. <laughs> Remember how I said it doubles his removal spell? Yeah. Uh, he's he's not gonna be playing it this game. And I actually think he'll side that out because it doesn't block flyers. I feel like we're doing good. There's the problem. Gutter snipe. That's why we don't apparatus that. Yeah, gutter snipe's getting apparatus, apparatized. Oh, I'm gonna use this card right here on this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like shock. Yep, except on a colorless card. Oh. I drew another land. I keep disperse up again. Just awesome. So, kudos to me. I'm patting myself on the back, holding up my apparatus. Get out of here, gutter snipe. <laughs> yeah. All right. And now we're just going to come in a bunch of, bunch of knuckleheads. <laughs> I would say he blocks here. Possibly. He chose not to. Interesting. Well, depending on what he does next turn. He might have something. I mean, I'm holding up. I'm flagging the dispersed at this point. What you got? Gutter snipe number two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Sure, fam. You got a gutter snipe. <laughs> I mean, it's only damage to the face. But not He's going to lightning strike. Snapping Drake, just one of the Drakes. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's fine. Because <laughs> jokes on you, I got another Snapping Drake. And you can still leave up Disperse. Yep. You have so much land. Oh, oh yeah. I can play anything in my deck at this point. Yeah, it's great. I could also do that. I think that's the play I'm actually going to do. I'm going to bond his sky scanner.
What? What do you do? Oh, I stuck luminous bonds on it so it can't block my creatures. Oh. Ooh. Plus, he's not in green or white to deal with enchantments. That should be it. Uh, possibly. I'm not discounting anything. He's still got three things in his hand. How he could he just go? he could just axe. Oh, his hand size right there. He's got four oh. in his hand. Oh. Yep. He'll cool. scoop. Yay! Win game one. You're doing great. Absolutely. All right. Anything at all that it's worth citing in? Actually, uh, I'm gonna bring in one essence scatter. Okay. For a disperse. Uh, I really just want a clean. If I can, he's got double gutter snipe, so he's definitely some type of spells list. He gets to go first again. Now, what's sealed now? The next round, will you be playing the same forty starting that you just had? Nope, I made a one-one switch. Okay. I mean, I switched in uh, essence scatter for the uh, disperse. Uh, we can keep this again. Yeah, we can keep this. It looks good. Yeah, the rupture spire is really putting in uh putting in its worth here. Putting in the mileage. Oh, we got another island. Which I'm one hundred percent fine with. Yeah, you don't have anything in uh double white, do you? Uh not that I can think of. No, you don't. Double white? All right, so we can play the Rupture Spire. When we use terms like double white, what we're talking about is in the converted mana cost if it has two white symbols. And looking through his uh, deck list, he does not. The only thing that he has that has two of the same color is sleep. It's two and two blue. Yep, and I can afford that. I can afford any card in my deck at this point, and he will anticipate Please don't play Red Gutter Snipe. <laughs> I'm going to feel really bad. Why? Yep, Red Gutter Snipe. Whew. I would, I'm totally fine with that. It's another Child of the Night. He can have all the Child of the Nights he wants. That is one of the least threatening cards in the game. Is this the same person you're playing with? Yep, this is game two of three. Oh, okay, because I was going to say it looked exactly like he did before, which isn't that smart because he lost. Right. And if you keep doing the same thing as he did before, you're going to get the same thing. Uh, That's what not, I'm hoping for. Not necessarily. It's always good to play a lifelink creature, especially in a sealed event, because gaining life can really turn around a game, especially in sealed. It can definitely buy you X turns, where lifelink can True. act like a time walk. Yes. But it just buys you more time. I'm not. I'm not like I was never high on Child of Night, but it is a good bear. I'm not going to deny it that. Mm -hmm. uh, Militia Bugler whiffed, but none of those four cards I wanted at this point. Okay. What I really want is a blue creature, so I can just curve into a massive Gearsmith Guardian. What about the uncomfortable? chill oh this card right here is very good if he comes in to just swing at me i can actually make all his creatures weaker and just, <laughs> just be like nope <sighs> tormenting voice he's gonna discard an island to draw two cards i mean i know you have it so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna block I'm just gonna take the two. You can gain your two. What? I'm not walking into the combat trick. I did it. I did. This is the same line of play I did last time. See, combat trick. He has it. So he had he it. Still got you. Yeah, he had it anyways. He gained one life to nightmares thirst it. I didn't want to walk into the other one. The the one I walk. The one that happened earlier. What did that one do? Uh... What was that combat trick plus, earlier, Rob? Uh, plus two, plus zero until end of turn and gains when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped. That's right. So it was a plus one instead of a plus two. Yep. Okay. Uh, not the greatest trigger of a Dwarven Priest, but I'll take it. Yeah, but if you blocked, would he still get you? Ah, uh, yeah, because it, it dealt damage and the Nightmare Stirs will still kill it. Oh. 
That sucks. There's the gutter snipe. He chose not to attack, so he doesn't have it. Are you gonna get another Plains or Island? Yep. Play. Cool. Come on. Let's go ahead and swing. He took the hit. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and play probably the best four drop in white right now. Play a dude, make a dude. <laughs> I was going to say it's a four drop for uh, two creatures with vigilance, two power yep. each. Oh. It's the only it's the only knight I had, and I thought, hey, maybe I could do knight tribal. Nope, couldn't do it. He played a land. Uh, sky scanner, sure. So my whole board is bigger than his upsides. Cool. All right. We're going to swing all in again. Holding up uncomfortable chill. Okay. Do you let it die? Uh, no. I really want to keep the pressure on. I'm okay. going to uncomfortable chill. I think that's fine here. Okay. Drew it. Wait, you got rid of? I, I played the uncomfortable chill to make all his creatures weaker. So when, oh, the so one's when, negative one. Yep. That's funny. I know, right? <laughs> you got Psychic Symbiont, too. And the Man of the Planet. It. And yep, that will also it. help you turn on Gearsmith Guardian. The question is, do I just do this again and just Luminous Bonds his Sky Scanner? No. No. That was It was way more relevant last game because I was trying to close out. Correct. Right, right now, you're still just applying pressure. I say you hold on to Luminous Bonds. Unless he plays a bomb, hold on. Yeah, that's what the Bonds is for. Yeah, Bonds, I'm like, I'm specking on a bomb like that. Uh, target like that. creature <laughs> is getting hit, and I take two. Cool. Deal seven to that. That's fine, fam. You got it. Don't say yeah, fam. Yeah. We're a fam-free kind of YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bruh. I think Chris would agree. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, he's got two cards in hand. Yeah, this is symbiote time. Uh. You're the cleric. Nice. All right, time to do some swinging. Let's go, kids. And he pitched a doom to center, so he is in the sacrifice deck, and he will block with gutter snipe. Yes, I will. I will allow this. Pays five dragon. Nope, fiery finish number two. Jeez, he had another one. Oof. Cool. All right, I know what line of play is here. Uh, we're gonna attack first. Okay. And then I'm gonna jam all my little guys. I was gonna say I see dwarven priest and remorseful cleric coming down this turn. Or would you rather get uh, gearsmith guardian? And uh, no, clock. I want to jam all my little dudes and just Angel of Dawn him. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Clear brick. So then you can gain as much life as possible off Dwarven Priest. Priest. Hey, look, I'm back to 20. Wait, how'd you do that? Uh, when this guy enters the battlefield, gain one life for each creature I control. Oh, nice. So if you put another creature, you'll get another life? Correct. Oh. Uh, what if the creatures are gone? Hmm. So you can swing out here, Avon one mage, Gearsmith Guardian this turn, and then next turn you can Angel Dawn for the one. Uh, I don't have enough mana for both uh, Avon wind mage, and Gearsmith Guardian. Oh, okay. Sorry, miscounted. Thought you had eight. I can do something else, though. Remember how I was doing this earlier? Oh, yeah. He's in top deck mode. I'm going to really lay the clock on now. Like, he's at low enough for now. He must have a red spell to deal with me. Do they just automatically go sideways? Nope. Uh, well, they do when they switch the phase. Uh, he's going to yeah. give minus three, minus three to the Vigilant dude. Good removal spell. That's fine. Okay. Take your hit. Take your beatings. He's at nine. Avon, one mage. And then Wind Angel mage, of Dawn. Angel of Dawn for lethal. Yep. Yep, because it's exactly nine. I can do math. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's going to strangle spores. So I won't kill him, but I'll hurt him. This deck runs incredibly smooth. Yeah. Uh, the curve was good. Uh, I had a really nice curve there. I like this deck, too. Angel of Dawn. All my dudes get one zip in Vigilance. Take your beatings. <laughs> This guy's got to be just thinking, wow, I'm just getting beat to death. <laughs> it is still at 20. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yield through this turn? Uh, he's conceding. I, I don't know what he would be drawing into right now. Nothing. That's game. There we go. Yay! Two up, uh, D booth 1991, whoever that is. So, did you defeat him, like, all the way? <laughs> yes, I did. That's a 2 uh, 0 victory. I won best of three and two. Oh, yeah. So. So, we're going to play a new guy? Yep. Look for a random new guy. How long is how long has this been out? How long has a uh, M19 draft been out or sealed? Uh, Two weeks. Coming up on three weeks now in Magic Online. 19 undefeateds. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, some guys just jam sealed. Yeah, I know. Like a uh, Sandy Dog, man. That's all he does. Who? Yep. A uh, guy who plays at a tournament. His name is uh, Sandy Dog. All He lives on Magic Online. Oh. This is his jam. Dang. Wait, so are we going to keep this deck forever? or? Just for this uh, tournament. Dang it. I like this. Thing. I know it's sweet, isn't it? I hope I get this all the time. I, I always enjoy blue white flyers. I think it's one archetype people actually haven't really talked about much. Like it's a core set. <laughs> blue white flyers is core, right? It is. Yeah. All right. So the change you made was you took out the disperse for an essence scatter. You think that's something that's going to be like permanent keep or no, that was for that matchup only. Cause I just wanted to randomly catch a gutter snipe. Okay. Which is probably the best card in his deck. But right now though, that essence scatter is in your main currently, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, I, I'm just see. trying to get a I good do... understanding here on sealed. You're good. This hand is sketchy. Like, I draw any one land gets there, but I don't have any... If I draw planes next turn, I really get there. <laughs> Are you on the player or the draw? I'm on the draw, so I'm going to keep this. I was going to say, you got three turns 
to draw one of your many lands. I really just want to see the turn two. Uh, I want to see the turn two planes. But draw turn one, that's fine too. Ooh. All right, and black again. There, there it is. Go. And hashtag rewarded. <laughs> that so was ballsy. Go... That's fast. What's that? That that is ballsy. But you had seven planes out of thirty-three cards. Uh, uh, yeah, I had the statistics in my favor. And not only that, but even if you drew an island, you still have a turn three play with Avon one mage or with or your mana lift. Mana lift, depending on the board state. And even like I could have had. Uh, Dang, yield through. I thought I hit the yield. Uh, I, like, you know, I also had the, you forgot about the Forsaken Sanctuary and the uh, the Rupture Spire. Yep. Okay, yeah, so you have plenty of outs. No, you got another. Okay, there. no more planes. <laughs> I was going to say, you wanted that turn two planes. I got it. Well, here comes the Cleric. I want clerics to be playable again, not spirits. Clerics, like that was a really sweet deck. I don't believe you. Oh, I mean, in in old school uh, block, what was it? Form block onslaught. And he's jumping. <laughs> you got another planes? Jesus, I just drew another freaking planes. <laughs> I think you. Uh... I, I janked myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's that, fine. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna. Hey, look, Wooberg, we have it all. Cool. That was a hit. I mean, he hasn't played anything, so mm. that's either a good sign or a bad sign. Uh, Mighty Leap now gives plus three, plus three to the team. Wait, what? No, it only gives plus three, plus three to the one mage. It triggers it. it, it it's it's. I mean, plus two, plus two, plus one, plus one, plus three, plus three to the team. Do you understand my uh, lingo okay. there? Like it, it's now it's now giant growth with a jump on it. Okay. At least on this board state. What's he got going on? I mean, he's just he's, playing lands. He's jund. Nice. You hit your three colors, but what are you not doing? Gore claw. Yeah, gore claw. Feel real bad. <laughs> Probably. No. Nope. There it is. Three three haste for four. Do you think you want to race me? I mean, that's fine. You're slamming for possibly seven. Actually, you're slamming for seven next turn because he can't block anyways. I mean, I'm about the holy days effect anyways. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to holy days effect, actually. I'm winning this race. Yeah, you are. You going to do another thing? I was going to say, that seemed like a pretty good draw. Yeah, that was a great draw. <laughs> Better than good. That was, I think, the best. Oh, yeah. Play planes. Let's go Gallant Cavalry. I like how it draws another knight. Get some chomp blockers out there. I'm not going to block him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I have the tempo right now. He'd have to play something pretty obnoxious, and I can still Dwarven Priest and gain five life. Like, I'll take the th I'll, I'll take three. I'm... Like, there is no skull crack effect in this limited format, so I could just care less. Yeah, if you blocked him, yours... Yep, don't care. Guys would die, right? Yeah, but I, I just don't care about blocking like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd rather use the guys to basically just get him. Yeah, just do things just, and stuff. Yeah. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and attack with everything, actually. Uh, no, with Priest first. I was going to say, maximize your life yeah. gain. I guess I can do that. Gain five, go back to 19. Who's got the tempo now? <laughs> All of it. Oh, you can't get the priest because you just got him. Yep. Put him out. <laughs> the guy on the bottom right. Wow. Yeah, I curved. <laughs> Blue white flyer, son. Get beat. It's... And he chose not to block anything. Cool. Awesome. Oh my uh, gosh. Next turn, I'm going to mighty leap the 
gallant cavalry and just or no, I'm gonna mighty leap the token and uh, get there. His name is Julius Mufasa, but Mufasa's dead, so he's gonna die. Yeah, Julius, yeah, he's not, he's definitely losing this game. I don't <laughs> think he has anything. I think he just tried to play the race game, and you just can't race a bunch of flyers. I don't think he banked on me going Dwarven Priest gain five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll take seven. Let's see. Am I dead? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure, I'll take eleven. Whoa. Eleven? Yep. Okay. So am I dead? <laughs> no. No. Sensor Courser. Oh. I think you could get him. Probably. I was gonna say you still have six hitting him right now. There we go. Yeah, he's he scooped. He's like, yeah, you're just you're dead. <laughs> you're dead 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 dead. Mm -hmm. dead. Alright, so what do you bring in here? Do you have to make a new deck or no? Nope. Uh same deck. Okay. I think I want do I want the fish? That seems a bit fishy. How does the fish work again? <laughs> oh, pay and do things? Nah, he had a good mm. mix of colors. I don't want fish. He's not mono green. He's too fishy. Right. <laughs> he had no enter the battlefield effects, so disperse is still great. Uh, I really like the dwarven priest in this matchup. Mm. So I'm going to up a dwarven priest. Nice. And then what do you cut? Uh, Pride Mate. I really just want to be in the sky. Okay. Yeah, he's just like, wow. Yeah. Wow was right. The hand was super rewarding if I just hit the planes. Uh, this hand Two is planes? a mulligan. Two What's a mulligan? Uh, I'm going to go down to six cards oh, and okay. get a new hand. This is better. Yes. Not great, but better. My turn three play is actually a play. Uh, you need the land. Get, I do. But you got three turns to, or really four turns to draw it. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Bottom. Oh, I just want to see more cards. Mm. All right, Julius Mufasa. <laughs> Cinder Barons. Oh. Angel of Dawn. Noise. You can play nothing. I drew a bugler. Playing planes? Yep. And you get this turn. Something tells me I'm gonna get punished for that planes. But I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna be as bad. Begins combat. There's nothing to really. Uh... <laughs> yeah, nope. It's just gotta. It's gotta go through the motions. Like plants versus zombies. Right. It kind of reminds me of that because you get like your sunflowers and stuff to get the sun, whatnot. Hmm. Planes. <laughs> Ugh. He's got the tempo. <laughs> yeah, he does. He played the dude first, so I have to take the three. He could you maybe he could play bugler? the hasty and I'm just be in trouble. So I really want to bugle. Yeah. And I want to hit Dwarven Priest. And I will whiff on the bugler. Uh, sleep would have been nice. That's why did, fine. Why did it? Is that your deck that it was showing you? It showed me the top four cards in my library. How? It's trigger. Enters the battlefield. Look at the top four. Oh. And then I choose a creature. Put it in my with power two or less and put it in my hand. I missed again with a bugler. Hmm. Missed what? I just missed the uh, the effect with bugler. What's the effect? Let's put the creature in hand. Oh, okay. You know the flavor behind him. Play the bugler horn. Burr, 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 someone comes in. Ah. Yeah, take three. It's a free hit. I think he does have the hasty hill giant in his hand, actually, and he just didn't have the land to play it. Oh. Uh, and what's that do? 
Uh, sure. Let's see two flyer. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yep, I'm gonna take a swing here. I like how you're winning this time. I'm not winning this time. I gotta earn this one. He's ahead of me. I meant like... Oh, you mean matches. in comparison to the last time we did this? Yeah, <laughs> you got destroyed. Just, just watch me just lose the hollow one. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alex didn't have a good night the other night. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Uh, we did put his dredge video up. It was it was pretty rough. He ran into a lot of graveyard hate. Yeah, everyone's mm. prepared for it. I feel like everyone is just ready for it. So I'm going to play... Calvary. Oh, yeah. Get that night. So next turn I can play Avon Wind Mage Hold Up Mighty Leap. Does he swing? I mean, if he has that hill giant, he just, it looks like he misses land drop yet again. Yeah. Seems like he has a bit of a. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the hit again. Mm. Yes, I would agree with yeah. that. You sure it's? Fine. I'm gonna take the hit again, and I'll go to twelve. Because eleven. Eleven. Your next you. play is going to give you a strong enough blocker with mighty leap to kill whatever comes at you. Mighty leap. Bear. I like how just watching it like twice, I got know pretty much what's going on. Right. Oh, I did play Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's go ahead and take a. You know what's nice? My whole board has vigilance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like the best part. I can choose to attack and block. I have that option. Does it usually choose for you? Uh, well, when you attack normally, it causes creatures to tap. Uh, creatures with Vigilance don't, so they can block as well. Ah. Oh. So he took the hit. Nice. Uh, I'm going to play an island. I'm going to go island, island, and plains, and jam Avon Wind Mage, holding up Mighty Leap. Does the island and plains give you, like, the other different things to summon guys? Yep. Right now, I have a spell in my hand to protect myself. Mm. Yeah, he's real. I feel like he's got like four hill giants with haste in his hand. <laughs> and he's just like looking at him. He's just his eyes are rolling in the back of his head. He had to have missed another land drop. Man, I feel bad for him. Kind of. I don't. This happens to me all the time. I don't feel bad anymore. Like, once it happens to you enough, you just don't care. You just accept it. This is magic. <laughs> he has the ability to create and make his dudes unblockable. When they turn sideways, do they attack? Uh, yep. He is attacking. That's eight and damage. That puts you within range of lightning strike. Yep. We uh -oh. are a blocking. Here. To here. If the knight gets killed, does the this is pretty cavalry awkward. guy get killed or no? I feel like he's got titanic growth in his hand. What would that do? A lot. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it... Titanic, I can win mage and just take the three. Because it a mighty leap gives two, two, three, It'd make it a five, five. So Titanic growth still beats it in the air. All right, here's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to hold control. Press OK. Why hold control? Uh, I want to hold priority to cast spells. Wait, what? I, I was going to say wait and see if he does anything. 
Uh, I mean, I, I, it's his priority anyways. Okay, yeah, because if he casts Titanic Growth, you get to respond with Mighty Leap. And Mighty Leap, the correct target. I mean, I'm going to Mighty Leap Gallant Cavalry anyways, just to do it. <laughs> because I'm going to get a big trigger. Yep, he's doing something. Titanic Growth. Too Spit great. Flame. Ooh. Hold up. Four uh, if you Mighty Leap it, it Four lives. damage? I, I can Mighty Leap and let it live. And you... Uh, actually, it would still die, because it takes two damage from his creature. Well, of course, creature. yeah. It would take two damage from it, but Centaur Courser still lives. I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump the Gallant Cavalry and save it in combat. Okay. Yeah, because you do have Angel of Dawn that's going to be able to kill that blocker next turn anyways. Yep. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield, it does things. So we're going to get this board state. And there's a lot of thinking there. You're working uh, out. Good job. <laughs> And Bomb Angel drop. <laughs> he, he conceded. He straight scooped. <laughs> it like, nope. He straight scooped. Wow. Okay. All right. 2-0. Oh. Again. Whoa, yeah. How many matches could we do? Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure. How many matches is Stage 1 in Multi-Stage Sealed League? Five. I have no idea. Well, I mean, over here on the left, number of stages three. So you got stage one, three, stage two, three, stage three, three, for a total of nine matches. Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah. It's all a lot of matches. Oh, it is. Wow. And doesn't it give me more packs? That I don't I can't, know. I, I can't remember how this works. It's something weird where you don't do IRL, but it gives you good sealed practice. And going 3-0 to start, man, that's a, that's a mighty good hit. Uh, two o, two o. I mean, I would be. Hey, man, got got the dream big. <laughs> Undefeated at the moment, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, so I'd like to play first. Finally. Yes, I will keep this hand. I have pride, mate. I have a turn two play. <laughs> he mulliganed. All right, good play. Island and yield through this turn. Oh, that pride mate looks nice. To the plus one, plus one when you get in life. Huh. He played a green source. Did you play the pride mate early on then? Nope. I'm actually going to play. I mean, that's the idea. But since I have no life gain in the hand right now, I'm going to play the remorseful, remorseful okay. cleric instead. Okay. So once you get like a life gaining one, then you'd play the pride mate, right? Yep. He's cool. in. Uh, he's in green. So mm -hmm. he's he's showing that he's going to have a bear on turn two. A bear? A two mana creature for two power, two toughness, usually. So a typical creature. Oh, yeah. Uh, something green will have. So the pride mate isn't going to get through. So I want a two one flyer for two. Okay. Matter of fact, it's... yeah, that's going to be a good line of play there. Another island. Uh... Why not the wind mage? The uh, wind mage is next. I'm going to attack with the remorseful cleric. See if he oh. does something about it. Oh. Yeah, because okay. he might kill it. I would rather him kill it than the Wind Mage. Yeah. I get it. Okay, he's so he's like hit. a tester. Yep. Is a beta test at all? For those of you who watch Sword Art Online. <laughs> <laughs> My inner weeb. I've actually watched it. Hey, look, that's it. a shock. Yeah. Sword Art Online was. I liked it more in the beginning, I think. I was, but I still liked it. I was going to say, choose your words wisely. 
<laughs> I liked it in the vegan. Gutter snipe again. Stop with the oh, gutter yeah. snipes. It was still good. At least now I can play the mirror image and not oh. get punished. I watched when they were fairies too. So. You're... Why are you doing that? So I have two remorseful clerics. What's better than one? Two. But don't you want two of like the pride mate? I would, but I'm not going to be. I'm. I'm not drawing any of the life gain effects. Like pride mate is okay. super incidental. That if I draw any of the dwarven clerics and just happen to have it, that's great. Yeah. But right now, I just want to keep hitting him in the sky. He can't deal with four power. He can't deal with getting hit with electricity every turn, basically. Oh, uh, okay. So the remorseful cleric just straight up hits him? Yeah, we're just hitting him. That's what this deck's been really good at doing, so I'd rather just play that plan. Just keep hitting him. Okay. I feel more knowledgeable about this. And uh, there's lightning strike, sure. What are you hitting? Me? No, he's hitting the remorseful cleric. Right when I say that, I'm like, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> I'll sack it and target his graveyard. Wait, what? Ah, incidental card disadvantage. I just, just, I just exiled all graves just in case he's got a graveyard effect, or rather his grave. I took two. Another spell. Jeez. Dang. Actually, I'm glad he did that because I can play Pride Mate and Stone Wallet. Wait. He's got a nice curve. All right, let me draw a what spell. About, what about Pride Mate? What? Pride Mate might be blocking Gutter Snipe. It will oh, you got not you got be you. blocking Gutter Snipe. <laughs> You got yep. the cavalry, dude. Yep, cavalry's getting played. I like that guy. Guy's, guy's a house, man. This card's... Because he got, like, two cards. This card's good at magic. Yeah. And cavalry. You magically make the knight appear. Yeah, it's cavalry. You gotta have more than one. Yeah, I love it. It's better than one? Two. Exactly. White source. What? <laughs> Yeah, he ain't attacking. He's done. <laughs> he ain't doing spit. <laughs> Bonds. Hmm. No, we're just gonna keep swinging. If he has a trick, he has a trick. I have the board. Why does he turn sideways? To block or what? To attack. He yeah. has to. Uh -oh. and he just took it. He straight up took the hit. Yeah, so... so he attacks with one instead of two? Yep. Let's so see. Remorseful Cleric doesn't have Vigilance, and the other two creatures do. And Vigilance means when it attacks, it does not turn sideways or tap. Oh, okay. Could you add Vigilance to it? Yeah, actually, that was what the Angel does. Oh! The five-mana Angel gives Vigilance. I like the Angel. Yep. And there's uh, different enchantments out there, too, and artifacts that you can equip to it to also give different creatures artifact or Vigilance, Haste, Hexproof, a whole bunch of different effects to improve your creature so would the guy con oh, turn sideways unless you give him vigilance every time yeah yes uh, if he doesn't have vigilance then he will turn sideways okay matter of fact this he's got two cards in his hand i don't think he can stop me i think the cards without vigilance the yep annoying. he's scooped <laughs> yeah. all right not bad all right so, so we're back at this again where i want the essence scattered over the disperse okay uh, I don't ever control artifacts. Let me make sure I have something. Aviation Pioneer. Nah. Another Wind Mage is meh. Wait, how can you tell if they have Vigilance or not? Oh, I'll say it right here. Where this guy says flying. I go. Let's see here. So that one has flying. Vigilance. Ah. Uh. Uh, Pegasus. 
<laughs> no, I think this is fine. Uh, that one one switch. I'd rather just have the essence scattered accidentally. Uh, a gutter snipe. Is this the same guy? Yep. Soto. Who boy? Ooh, you got the angel. And I got take vengeance. Yeah, I'm keeping this. I was and gonna you say got you've got your turn three, turn four, turn five plays all flying creatures, and your turn two protection. There's your fourth land. It's looking good for you right now. It looks great. You got gold. No, you do your thing, fam. Blood, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Play hasty. We say fam out here all the time. No, we don't. Yeah, we no, do. we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. It, it's, it, it's sounding like you say fam way too much for this. I, I'm sorry, we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. fam. <laughs> all right. Uh, you, don't, you don't work for us. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, That's let's cool. see here. Gutter snipe. I should just say thanks, Sam. <laughs> gutter snipe. Don't waste my time. Play the gutter snipe. We know Come you on, got go, it. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Onaki Ogre. That thing hits hard. Ooh. It's a 4-2 for 3. It's a magic card. Wait, 4-3? What? 4 power, 2 toughness for 3. Onaki Ogre. What's the 2? Two... 2 toughness? Means... No, I mean over here. At the top of the card, the two. Oh, it costs three to play. Two in red. Two what? Anything. Oh, the number is anything? Yep. And then one red. Yep. Oh. I don't think he knows I passed priority to him. <laughs> oh, that's cool. There we go. Another land. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to play Avon Wind Mage, and he's going to swing in with Onaki Ogre, and I'm going to take Vengeance on it. <laughs> Maybe. You got a lot of light. Okay, so you could play the Wind Magic. Yep, Avon Wind Mage. Oh, it says Mage, not Magic. <laughs> Same thing. All right, let's see here. What you got, bud? Well, they're all magic. <laughs> oh, he'll just shock it. That's fine, too. All right, so I lost... Uh, I lost tempo there. So, oh. yeah, we're going to take vengeance. Kill. And hope I draw a three drop. And reobtain tempo. Not the three drop I wanted. But that's what I get for running my mouth. Oh, you're going to put light. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I wanted a two drop, not a three drop. That's all good. Let's kill it. Death. All right. Next turn, Drake. Maybe. Most likely, yeah. I was going to say, Drake is a good play next turn. And he's not played anything. What the hell is his hand? What are you not doing? Well, he's got to have a grip of removal. But he only has four cards, so he probably could have nothing. Uh, uh, man, that's a lot of lands to have. Jeez, maybe he does just. Uh, maybe he's got a bunch of combat tricks, <laughs> and I just oops got him with a uh, take vengeance. I mean, shock. Nope. Six drop. Just put another fire. Six drop. Six drop. Okay, cool. Dang. That's, that's a card. I was going to say, a... that's a clock. Yeah. Oh, and it's a 4-4 four, four SO. Yep. Even if he turns sideways, it don't matter. Yep, and he has haste, so he can do it the same turn he comes into play. That card doesn't need vigilance to be good. <laughs> uh... Ooh, when it turns sideways, its mouth is, like, going on you. Right. Ooh, okay. I think I know what I want to do here. I do have a line of play. Bugle! Yeah. 
hit something. Come on, hit something. Yay, we hit something. What is it? We hit a cleric. We hit a cleric. Oh, yay. Uh. Man, that feels like a bad two for one. Or do we care? Mm. The honest question is, do I care? I don't know. Probably not. No, I don't. I'm going to keep swinging. I was going to say, keep swinging. You can chump block if he attacks I'm, again. I don't think I'm going to chump block. Does that make sense to you, Rob? Yes, because what? everything's going to get vigilance when you slam Angel of Dawn anyways. Yeah. Like, I don't think I care about chumping him this turn. What's chumping? Blocking with a dude that's not going to survive the combat. Oh. So basically sacrificing him for the... For my life total. Yep. For okay. the greater good. Ha. Huh, that's a good magic card. <laughs> I'm going to take it. You got it, fam. Let's see. Double Titan Strength and I GG. Sure strike. So good thing I didn't double block. Yep. All right. Lava axe. Well, you only have five health. So you better watch. Oh, I know. And I made a game plan. I'm trying to do this. Yeah, but if you die before you I mean, able to it's, do it, it's not looking good. He hit this guy. I really need luminous bonds. Like Wait. if I draw that, I just I can bond it. Is he a seven to four now? He's a 7-4 for the turn. Yeah, sure strike gave him plus 3, plus 0, oh, and then he got what's called first strike, which means whenever it comes to combat... Oh, he thudded me. Oh, okay. Well, that'll do it. What's sudden? Uh, he's, it's a new card that was printed. Sack a creature, I'm going to take damage. Yep. So you'll, you would have lost? Nope, I lost that one. Good clean kills. You fought, yeah, Figured he had a bunch of crack in his hand and just didn't work out for him until he just drew that card. It's pretty good play. So did he bring... Okay, you're just running it back? Yeah, just run it back. The deck's fine. Okay. This mulligan's good, too. Yeah. This is not a good hand. No, no blue either. Just ugh, rough. This is better. Thorvin Priest, a Johnny's Pride Me. Yes. And you got Island and Plains. Yep. Keep it. Put it on top. Put it on the top. What was that? It was my white black dual land. Okay. I get to play Pride Mate next turn. Do you have the life giving stuff? I, I do. I was a dwarf. So, what do you think of the policy change for alcohol consumption? at an event and for the ability for age restriction on casual events. I always thought that was kind of up to the store. I didn't realize, I always kind of thought like there was no alcohol anyways. I didn't realize I had to put a policy on it. Wait, what? Yeah. This... Uh, rec recently in the Magic the Gathering world, they put a policy on uh, alcohol consumption at Magic tournaments. Yeah, so... I'd say no because it... Before it was prohibited, you could not have what's called a uh, a WPN sanctioned event where players could earn points for Wizards of the Coast, um, Planeswalker points, things like that. But now they're allowing consumption, be it that the site obeys all laws associated with sales and consumption of alcohol. So odd. I think it's to play to a lot of Magic players that are alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, so I don't mind it to an extent. My thing is, is... Very few alcoholic beverages have a resealable top. So that is just more chance for something to spill if it's placed on a table by some moron. Um, yeah. If people get too inebriated because they cannot control themselves, events just got slightly more annoying. And then again, the same thing, <laughs> walking around, bumping into each other and things like that. For me, when I'm playing Magic, I will have a beer if I'm playing Magic online. And I, I assume most people can control themselves and do the same. But mm -hmm. I'm not about getting hammered and playing this game. So basically just try to be responsible. Right. And I don't, and it's only going to take one bad apple to ruin this. And 
other than that, I think it's fine. Like Virginia States, um, it was out of VFW. So you could walk down the hall and you could get yourself a nice glass of beer, but you couldn't leave the bar with it. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of thought that was an off-site thing. You know what I mean? Well, all off-site locations still have to get approved. That's one thing that they did put in there because they still have to be family friendly and family oriented. So your local strip club can't have a WPN sanctioned event. Mm-hmm. It can? Cannot. Wait, what? Because oh, cannot. It, okay. Because I it just want to make sure I understood that. Yeah, I no, it, it can too. Nope, it can't. Cannot. Got it. Um, I'm going to take this hit. The age restriction thing, I'm. I'm more of a fan of because I know as people get older, they look for a more mature crowd when it comes to playing magic. And um, along with that, you know, people want to be able to not have to deal with kids running around, being loud, hassling, or things like that. Okay, I o- define like kid. Um, <laughs> We're talking like uh, 16 and under. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm good then. Jerry, did you ID her before you started dating her? Yes, I did. Okay, just making sure. Anyways. <laughs> two, form, two forms of ID and her grandmother. All right. What? That's, that's what it takes. That's what Dave Chappelle Wait. taught us. Um, uh, but also, <laughs> I like the younger events too because it allows the kids to excel at a casual event with prize support that you can actually say, hey, I don't want anybody over the age of 18 or anybody over the age of 16 because our thinking capacity, our ability to get a hold of higher end cards and things like that trump that of a 12 or 13 year old kid who may not have the ability to get the best of the best oh true so yeah i mean that's what it's kind of like what pokemon does with their uh they have uh masters and then juniors yep basically what they're trying to bring back without bringing it back because for some reason they think it's cool when a seven-year-old plays a 20-something year old yeah i mean i mean there's a few kids out there that do really well with it too sure i i still don't think they should be playing with adults just Something about it irks me the wrong way. It kind of irks everyone the wrong way in some degree. Like, like, you know, there's a lot of money on the line. I'm not trying to play against a kid for that kind of money. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, they used to have the Junior Series. Yeah, I think they should bring that back, honestly. And really, my first introduction to the Junior Series was the uh, Sakura Tribe Outers I got for Titan Shift. Steve. Oh, this is an interesting game. He's in the tank. Well, he's trying to figure out what to do, I think, with Inferno Hellion. But, I mean... You get one action with it, so do something. Uh, I'm going to take a 2-4 and block a 2-1. Because I'll take the 7 and hope I get there. So if his toughness is 4 and he attacks with the... One toughness. Uh, here it is. Here, hold up. Here's a combat trick. Titanic growth and a thud? Nope. Sure strike. Sure strike. Okay. Wait, so when you block, oh, do you block okay. the two he, or the four? Yeah, he sure strike gave it first strike. So when you block their the opponent's creature's power, the first number, deals damage to your toughness, the second number. So they attack when they're sideways. This is the first number still? Okay, both numbers apply. This is the power. This is how much it can take. Yes. How, yeah. how much it can dish out, how much it can take. And then when it attacks sideways, it's still the two, even if he's a one with toughness. Yep. Oh, wait. Then does it matter if it's attacking sideways or not? Please. I think I confused myself. Uh, creatures tapped can't block. Wait. So creatures sideways, creature can't sideways block. cannot block. Yep. That's the only reason. Or saying that's uh, okay. Man, I whiffed on Bugler again. And take vengeance is now. That's uh, fine. I'm more upset I lost Angel. I mean, oh, okay. But I'm here. <laughs> I can actually just not do anything this turn. Uh, I'm still on the back foot slightly. I could use another land. I need to get to the Psychic Symbiote. I mean, now my blocks are favorable. And Bugler can attack uh, pretty wantonly. That's a word. Hey, look. There it it's is. That guy. There's Gorka. Ah. I mean, he That's... does have the creature base to support it. Ooh. Sure. Or three, dang. Yeah, this is what I wanted to play. 
And I couldn't play it because I didn't have the base to support it. I'd like to play that card. Swing! Yeah, you'd have to have a tree. Forest. Dwarven priest. Whoo! That's a... That's a... Those guys go. tough. Go, go, go! That's good in place of uh, drawing land. Wait. At this point, I just want to play the cards in my hand and hope they're good enough. So Dwarven Priest could take four, so if a four creature attacked him, he would still be alive? No, he would die. Yep. Uh, so, so yeah. So if four uh, don't neutralize, he'll still die. Crap. So mm -hmm. it, he would take four, so you would actually subtract the power from the blocking creature's toughness, and if that ever reaches zero or less, the creature dies. Unless it oh. has indestructible. That's annoying. So he'd have a tap tap. He'd have to have a toughness of five in order to be able to block a guy that's four. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, block that's... and live. Yep. Maybe I'll draw another dwarven priest. He's I mean, still pretty cool. You do have three of them in your deck. I do. It'd be really nice if I just drew another one. It will be like a really strong creature, like a seven. Uh, no, I need to. Can this is going to be the biggest thing I got right now? I really need another dwarven priest or phantasmal image remake, whatever it's called. I want to buy magic cards now. <laughs> we did it. We're talking uh, mirror image. Mirror image. That's it. We also uh, converted her. She wants to buy magic cards now. I want to buy mirror image. Probably. <laughs> I like that card. Well, hey, before you go ahead and buy a deck, you can always rent a deck from the Snackcast. We have modern deck rentals available starting at ten dollars a deck. Only local at Camden Battlegrounds. I like that little plug. <laughs> uh, I'll just look around uh, JJ's place. <laughs> uh, okay, whenever it attacks, each creature you control power four or gets plus one, plus one, and trample, so it's a four three. It's a five four with trample now. Five four, okay. I like having my own cards. This feels bad. Why didn't he attack with everything? Because he wants uh, to destroy you. He's got too many freaking cards in his hand, too. Thud kills me. I'm pretty sure Thud just kills me. Mm. Yep, I'm just gonna double block, see what happens. I'm pretty behind in general. Yeah, no combat, combat tricks. No combat tricks. It dies. And you only yep. lose one creature. No, he should have one. Yep. Sure, Wait, start. The, the on the Titanic, Titanic growth. growth. Gross. And so you take two. I mean, if he has thud, I'd die anyways. No, because right here you only take two. So you're at 12. Even if he thuds, you only take nine, right? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, because you, you, he sacrifices a creature and you take damage equal to its power. Yeah. Did you do put on a cleric? Oh, Highland game number two. Oh, boy. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I mean, I can play... Uh, A Manolith and Remorseful Cleric. Yep. I'd like to collect powerful ones. I like Pride Might. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it did work, but now I'm in trouble. Like He's got too many things on board. Yeah. That, too, he's that going... block was pretty bad, but I had to, like, pray. <laughs> he's going good. I feel like we're not I'm probably not gonna get this. Uh, I mean, who well, knows? What about the Okay, he's attacking with the whole crew. What about the psychic symbony guy? Could we get that guy on board? I'm yeah, I'm waiting for another land to do it. Alright, he's really trying to so... need another land? Yeah. Trying not to die. But you have to Nope, hold on. Wait, one, two, oh look, another combat trick. He's loaded. Oh, you do need. He's freaking hand. loaded. Oh no. How dead am I? Very. Uh, very dead. Attack, yeah, <laughs> attacking creatures. Well, go. uh, am I dead? Uh, four, four, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Not one. Uh, oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, wait, no, that doesn't trample. Yeah, you're one. <laughs> you're at one. Cool. Do we have a land? Yeah, I need a. Oh, we have a plane. I am uh, dead. You're dead. He got there. 
Wait, could you, couldn't you have done like the planes and put the? Oh wait, now you guys are gone. Yep. <laughs> I can. Okay, you have completed stage one. Improve your deck to the next stage. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're good. We rolling? We still going? We rolling. All right. So we'll take a break right Ooh. here and come back for uh, number two as we uh, continue on with this.